my goodness gracious, let me tell you the news. My head's been wet with the midnight dew. I've been down on my bended knees, talking to the man from Galilee. He spoke to me in a voice so sweet, I thought I heard a shuffle of angels' feet. He called my name and my heart stood still When he said, man, go do my will Go tell that long-tongued liar Go and tell that midnight rider Tell the rambler, the gambler, the backbiter Tell them the God's gonna cut them down Tell them the God's gonna cut them down When people are fed and have roofs over their heads, you'll be faced with a completely new dimension of survival, making sure people work together, even if it means ruling them with an iron fist. And to paraphrase Oscar Wilde, there is no such thing as a society, only a collection of individuals. And they have views, opinions, and make choices that often go against the grain of others, or you as their leader. And how will you react when a rift forms between your people? When divisions grow seemingly irreconcilable, you might be tempted to make choices that will be irreversible for your society. A true point of no return. After choosing the path of order, you will get access to a whole new decision tree, with more tools to tackle the harsh conditions different buildings, different abilities, and different laws. And when facing a simple situation, you might be tempted to use the simplest solution. For example, to battle vandals agitating against your rule, you may use Neighborhood Watch to restore order, but what will happen when the division escalates? When people start stealing or murdering each other, you will have many options. You may banish them, you may imprison them, you may even turn a blind eye and face the consequences. And when the hope is low, you may think that propaganda is a good solution. And when people take it to the streets, you might be tempted to use guards to restore order instead of hearing what people have to say. Where is the line of necessary evil to ensure everyone's survival? You have to remember that every decision shapes the society and it's not always in a good way. There's a thin line between order that ensures safety and order that is actually despotism. In today's world, social and political situation often gets twisted into the extreme and that can make Frostpunk a more topical game than many would expect. One bad choice leading to the next, harsh conditions, favoring survival over decency, all of these can make your society drift into a dictatorial state. And when you grow power hungry, using oppressive practices can easily lead you to control the city with radical, totalitarian methods. Of course, imposing order might not be your idea of trying to fix things. History shows paths other than ruling with an iron fist. Ultimately, our game is about people. How you lead them to survival is up to you. It's about time that we show you something new from the world of Frostpunk, the automatons.
Automatons are not only a marvel to look at, they are the pinnacle of human engineering. They are examples of steampunk technology designed specifically to improve humanity's chances of survival in the frozen world of Frostpunk. They will benefit your economy greatly. They can replace whole workplaces, whole manual labor crews. They can work whole day, whole night, in overwhelming cold, and the only thing that they need to do is once in a while go back to the generator to refuel. You'll have the ability to upgrade them, improve their cap capabilities, and improve their efficiency. But the real question is, how will your people react to them? Are they really safe to use inside the confines of the city? These are the questions that you'll have to answer for yourselves. up with next to nothing. We don't do what we believe is right, but we believe what we do will make us right. It is not shelter nor food that brings us consolation. hope that makes us grow. Hope that there is more of us, and if not, that we Thank you. 